الحمد لله الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على رسوله النبي الكريم Brothers and sisters, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Welcome to our continued follow-ups. Today, bi we will be studying Surah Wal-Layl, Surah Wal-Layl in the 30th Juz. Please have your Mus'haf available and the Arabic text will be on your screen and I pray that you're able to follow along with your notes. Imperative that you follow along with your notes in this last section of the Qur'an. We will be studying from Surah Wal-Layl today. And if you can have your notes out with you, I'm sure it will help you follow letter by letter. Let's start with A'udhu Billahi Minash Rajim Bismillahirrahmanirrahim so we remember Basin Meme, the Lam in Allah is going to be light and the Ra is heavy, Ha is light, Meme we stretch for two. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Now what I'd like to do is I'd like to spell out a few of the letters here but focus only on two major rules today. And today we'll be focusing on the heavy to light transition or vice versa. When you see a light letter, standing next to a heavy letter, ya and ghayn, then we're going to make the appropriate sound to identify the light ya and the heavy and the heavy ghayn. Let's start together. Wow letters of the lips, lam shadda. Wa layli, wa layli, idha yagsha, yagsha. You have ya and then ghayn. Yal sha. Wal layli. Wal layli. Iza yal sha. Ya, ya, yal sha. We have wow with the noon shadda. Just going to make that full nasal sound. Wan Wanahari Ra with a line on the bottom, it's going to be light. Wanahari Wanahari. What's important here is that you realize the noon shadda has to make the full nasal sound in the nose, so you're gonna say Wanahari Iza Tajalam. Iza tajalla ta jim lam shadda tajal tajalla. Make sure you're not saying tajalla la tajalla. Open your mouth and make the a uh sound. The a uh sound. Wanahari iza tajalla. Verse number three has. The heavy light transition going on here. Wama wow letters of the lips. Meme letters of the lips. Keep them wet. Wet. Wama wama. Kha is the third part of the throat. Heavy letter. Kha. Lam is light. La. Off is heavy behind the uvula. Kha. Wama wama. Kha la kha. Kha la kha. وَمَا خَلَاقَ Now قَاف is heavy. If we take a moment here and we try to analyze this, we'll do well inshallah. What do we need to analyze? That's the heavy قَاف transitioning into the letter ذَال. ذَال is the tip of the tongue at the edge of the top teeth. Everyone say it with me. ذَا ذَا وَمَا خَلَاقَ ذَا خَلَاقَ the that is light, tip of the tongue at the edge of the top teeth, calf is light, but remember not to say the ka, the ka, ah, you hear the ah sound? It's an ah sound, like in cat, at. Wama, wet. وَمَا خَلَاقَ 
قذ 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 ذكرى ذكرى وال 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 أنثى. Now I want to analyze this. We have a noon sukun. What is the noon sukun followed by? What is noon sukun followed by? Let's take a look at this again. وما خلاقا. We have the noon sukun followed by the letter. What is the letter here? We have noon sukun followed by the letter ثاء. So let's run it through our filter. Is it going to be an ikhfa or idhar? Is it going to be a tongue touch or a tongue not touch sound? Noon sukun. Alarm goes off. The next letter is ثاء. ثاء is not in the throat. Alif, hamza, ha, ain, ha, ghain, kha. So is it part of one of the yarmulun letters where you stick the shadda on top of it? Nope. Ya, ra, la, mim, wa, or noon. Not at all. So it's going to be tongue, not touch. Everyone with me? T and T. Un, ثاء is going to be pronounced. Un, ثاء. Tongue, not touch is going to be pronounced. Un, un, Remember the oo, remember the cool sound, so say oo, tha is the tip of the tongue at the end of the top teeth, just like that. Just like that. وَمَا خَلَقَ الذَّكَرَ وَالْأُنثَى Now let's look at verse number 4. Noon shadda, full nasal sound. Anytime there's a W on top of the noon, we make a full nasal sound. And that is إِنَّ 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 Seen with a line on the top. Sa and then Ain, second part of the throat, so bite into it. Sa, Sa, Yankum, Sa, Yankum, Sa, Yankum, Lam, Sheen, Off, Lasha, Lasha, Lashetta. Tip of the tongue is going to come behind the top two teeth. Lashetta, Ta, Ta, what's wrong with Ta? It's the ah sound. Lashetta. In sa yang kum kum cool cool in in sa yang kum la shat ta shat ta shat t don't make a t sound but ta with the shat ta la shat ta ta can you see it tip of the tongue touches the back two teeth ta now let's take a step back first three Four verses together. Walayli idha yal shan. Wanahari idha tajalla tajalla. Wama khalaqa dhakara wal. Unth <laughs> Excellent. I'm praying that you're following along. Keep your notes available. Make sure you're on top of where every letter lives. Very important. Now we're gonna start verse number five. And in verse number five, we have meme with a W on top of it, the shadda. And you know that that shadda is going to ask you to make a full nasal sound. Rule number three of rhythm. Take a look at your notes. Fa'amma. Fa'amma man. فَأَمَّمَنْ Look at this, immediately, noon sukun followed by the letter alif. So noon sukun, the alarm goes off. As soon as the alarm goes off, we look at the next letter. That's your sukun. What is the next letter? It's an alif. Is alif in the throat? Yes, it is. So you have a tongue touch sound. The tongue is going to touch. 
من من أعطى واتقى. Let's try that again. فأما من أعطى. Alif first part of the throat. Ain second part of the throat. So we're gonna go first part of the throat and then second. A a and then Ain sukun. أعطى أعطى. فأما من أعطى. Ah, open your mouth because most of us are comfortable opening it this much. Open it wider. Ah, right now we're just practicing how to carve out that alif and the ain sound. Ah, ah, ah. Second part of the throat. Open the mouth. Don't force any air. Just relax. Ah, ah. Men. Ah, ah. You hear the two sounds, alif and then ain. Ah. So we have from the beginning of the verse, Don't hear aw, aw, aw. It's a, a, a. Wow, wet, 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 da, wet, da, cough heavy, aw. What the Verse number five. فَأَمَّا مَنْ أَعْطَى وَاتَّقَى وَاتَّقَى Excellent. Now I don't know if you're saying it perfectly, but if you follow this along, wow, what, what, taqa, then you would be very close to proper recitation. All I'm going to ask you to do is we said heavy light transition is what we're working on and vice versa. And the ah uh sound. A lot of times you're going to hear fa um, fa a, uh, fa, fa a, uh, ma. And that's not an cat sound. That's not a fatha, zubber, line on top, et today sound. Fa am man what what I want you to keep that in mind as we keep reading through. I'm not making an enormous amount of effort to get the sound out. The sound comes on its own. Let's try it here. Again, heavy light transition, light to heavy in this case. Wow, wet. Light, heavy, saw. Press your tongue to the bottom teeth, which will pick the middle of your tongue, press the top. So, saw. Was saw like the the word saw nails hammer and a saw was saw da now watch the transition was saw was saw da was saw da you don't want to go was saw saw da nor do you want to say was saw da was saw da was saw da ko now go to your heavy letter. Bow with the line on the bottom. If you notice, one of the first times we're dealing with a kasra, a zair, a line on the bottom. Bil ba kasra. B, B, lam connect. Bil husna hu. Say the cool word. Say cool. Hus, hus. So it's going to go U and then the scene, tip of the tongue, bottom teeth. Seen, hus, husna, wa sadaqa bil husna, wa sadaqa bil husna, wa sadaqa, sadaqa. Now think about the A, A. The cat and the awful sound. So this is cat, awful, cat, awful. وَصَدَّقَ بِالْحُسْنَ فَ This is verse number 7. فَ سِينْ نُونْ يَا فَ سَنُوا يَا فَ سَنُوا يَسِّرُهُ رُوهُ فَ سَنُوا يَسِّرُهُ Remember, when you find the kasra in this whole word, 
Fasanu yes si e give the feel sound e e Fasanu yes si ruhu lil lil yus ra lil yus ra This ra is heavy, you know, because it has a line on top. Fasanu yes si ruhu lil yus ra lil lil what could happen here, and I want you to watch this, the lil sound. Lil yusra, lil, lil. Don't bounce the sound. Yus, don't bounce the seam. Yus, yus, yus. If the sound bounces, then you're going to be doing qalqala on a letter that doesn't need to bounce. Verse number seven. Fasanu yasiruhu lil yusra. Now we go to verse number eight here. In verse number eight, we have Mim Shadda again, full nasal sound. So we're going to press the sound and we're going to have a nasal sound just like when Noon and Mim have the W on top of it. It makes a full nasal sound. Wa amma, wa amma, wa amma. Careful, you're not saying wa. It's wet. Wa amma. وَأَمَّا Meme with a line on top. Noon sukun followed by the ba. So what do you see here? You automatically see the baby meme. So what do we do with a baby meme? Some of you have taken this in the class and some of you haven't reached this rule yet. It's a baby meme. The meme is going to make a vibrating sound between our lips. مَن بَخِيلَ مَن بَخِيلًا وَأَمَّا مَن بَخِيلًا بَخِيلًا It's a heavy letter with a line on the bottom. Don't say خِي بَخِي بَخِي بَ Light. خا Heavy. Lam. Light. بَخِيلًا بَخِيلًا وَأَمَّا مَن بَخِيلًا was not was a was tell tell na was tell na wa amma man bakhila was tell na so we have verse number eight meme shadda rule number three this is rule number four. We called it meme sukun followed by ba. And rule number five, which is baby meme. Mam bakhila. Now, you might be encouraged to keep your lips separated or to allow them to vibrate. Either way, mam or mam bakhila was tell na. Make sure that there's a, a slight vibration with the meme. Was, don't bounce it. Was. Tell. Now listen to taga, taga. You hear the bounce? Don't bounce the sound. Was tell, tell, was tell, na, tell. Now listen to ta, ta. That that is light. So you have to constantly be looking to say was tell, na. Verse number nine. Wakad. Bring the dal shadda. Wa kadhaba. Wa kadhaba. Wa kadhaba bil bil husna. Wet. Wa kadhaba bil husna. Wa kadhaba bil hus husna. I want you to keep the mouth open. Wa Again, verse number 10 is going to be very similar. We saw it before, so I want it to sound the same. It should be consistent as in verse number 7. Let's look at it together. Fasanu, fasanu, fasanu yassiruhu lil usra. Fa sa noon ya fa sa noon yes si ruhu 
lil us us ra listen to don't make it a heavy sound us us ra ra is heavy us ra don't bounce any scene with a uh, sukun on top of it us ra fasanu yassiruhu lil us ra verse number 11 wa wet wa ma you and then rhyme third part of the throat wa ma wa wa wet wa ma you you hear the rhyme third part of the throat it's not going to bounce you ni an hu an hu an bite it an hu an hu وما يغني عنه ني remember the noon kasra sound وما يغني عنه ماله ماله we're going to stretch here mim with a fatha mim with zabr ma remember the first one not ma ma mat ma maluhu minimum stretch here we'll do two or three maluhu preferred here three wa ma yughni anhu maluhu idha taradda idha taradda maluhu idha taradda ta ra is heavy because it has something on top dal shadda connect and hold to a light letter taradda taradda idha iz don't say iz idha taradda ta ra 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 the tip of the tongue behind the two top teeth the rod the the either the rod the we're going to make the stretch here either the rod the wa ma yughni anhu maluhu idha ta rod the I want you to make sure you're making the anhu maluhu ma it's tempting because you're going to say luhu so don't say ma maluhu ma mat you can use the wetter part of your lip basically the part that you don't put chapstick on maluhu idha idha taradda Noon shadda full nasal sound this is verse number 12 verse number 12 we're going to add the full nasal sound in alayna lalhuda now as you see the ain here you know it's a full nasal sound so in a ah, ah. open your mouth open the mouth to the best of your ability alayna and you hear the a sound you hear the canadian rule here alayna it's not alay ala alan ala alana or alayna give the a sound alayna lal huda huda in alayna lal huda verse number 13 wa in full nasal sound again rule number 3 of rhythm wa in lana minimum stretch of 2 remember that the first rule of stretch lana la la which one is it it's a light letter lana lal akhira akhira fatha zabr atre line on the top is going to make the a a a uh, khi ra is heavy so you're going to make a ra ta lal akhirata akhirata 
in you have the noon full nasal sound let's try this again from the beginning wa in la na la akhirata we're going through this word la akhirata ra ta listen to ra ta uh uh it's akhirata ra ta wa in what wa in la na la na la na la lal akhi ra ta wal ula ula wa in la na lal akhi ra ta wal ula let's do verse number 14 together verse number 14 fa light letter letters of the lips as you can tell underlining tone throughout this surah the letters of the lips almost every verse is starting with something light and letters of the lips fa fa now alif with the line on top a fa a noon sukun immediately my alarm goes off as soon as my alarm goes off i realize hmm i think i believe there's a whole rule focused on this noon sukun what is the next letter next letter is dal is dal in the throat alif hamza ha ain ha ghain kha no it's not is it part of yarmalun ya ra la mim wow or noon nope it's just a letter that's not in the throat so tongue not touch t and t let's do it together fa an and now i'm going to say fa an tongue not touch i'm going to say it without touching my tongue fa antukum fa an now you're working on getting it remember that is going to come the tip of the tip of the tongue at the edge of the top teeth so let's work on this together fa an za za fa an za and there's a ra sukun another rule coming up i'll say this a few times but figure out the ra is it going to be heavy or light it's going to be heavy because there's a line on top there's a fatha a zabr on top of the ra sukun za za fa an za tukum fa an za tukum fa an za tukum tu kul kum tu kum fa an za tukum naran double accent what are we going to do when we see a double accent what happens immediately we have double accent we have to look at the next letter what is the next letter it's the same rule if you look at rule number 2 of rhythm just pull out your notes rule number 2 if noon sukun noon with a connect or double accent tanween do zabar or the double accent is followed by any letter that's not in the throat then the sound is going to float na ran na ran is going to be pronounced na ran 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 the tongue does not touch t n t so look at the t n t sound here the t n t sound which really didn't come out that well right there na ran ta la ta la za ta la za let's take a back track here na ran ran ta la za it is a light tnt sound so i want you to pronounce the run and then tongue not touch na run ta la wa ta la wa shadda ta la second part of your tongue is going to come out to the edge of the top teeth ta la ta la wa ta la wa Let's try that one more time. Na ran ta la wa. Verse number fourteen. Fa an za tukum na ran ta la wa na ran ta la wa ta la wa. 
a lot of rules, seems like it, but the truth is there are a great chance, there is a great chance for you to practice Nun Sukun followed by Zal, Nun Sukun followed by a letter not in the throat, and Tanween, double accent, the double accent followed by a letter that's not in the throat. Please practice the the thou see the thal and the lavo thal vo. It's more important than pronouncing fa correctly or not. Excellent. Let's go to verse number fifteen. La ya sod la yels la yels la ha ash. Oh, lamb stretch for two. Ya is light, sod is heavy. Yels la ha illa ashqa. La yels la ha illa ashqa. Minimum stretch here is going to be three. We have an east to west. See this sign here? We have an east to west. It's not followed by the letter Hamza by itself. We're going to do a minimum stretch here of three. La yells, yells, yeah, yells, la ha illa ash o ash a a ash o ash o. Foot of fatha on top here, zubber. So we have a line on the top. Ad levi, ad levi. Al-Ladhi Try it again Al-Ladhi Kathaba Kathaba Al-Ladhi Kathaba Watawalla Watawalla That I want you to focus Don't try to conquer the whole course in one shot Picks heavy and light Here's a great heavy and light transition we did yels la ha in verse number 15. Verse number 16. Make sure you're pronouncing dhal correctly. Oh, but I don't get tongue touch, tongue not touch. That's not important. The important part is for you to get the letters and where they live. After we have a, a little bit of growth in your tajweed, then you'll start to recognize ikhfa and ilhar correctly. Al-ladhi kathaba wa tawalla. Wa tawalla wat. Wata, wata, no. Don't take the tip of your tongue and press your gums. Touch the teeth. Wata, wala, alladhi kathaba, kathaba, wata, wala, kathaba. Kathaba, wata, wala, wata, wala, wata, wala. What's wrong with it? You tell me. Wata, wala. What's wrong with wata walla? It's not a heavy letter. Lam is light. Verse number 17, 16 ends. Wata walla. Verse number 17. Wasayujanabuhalatta. Wasayujan. Wa wet. Wasayu. Wasayujan. Yes, you got it. Rule number three rhythm. Hold the sound. Full nasal sound. وَسَيُجَنَّبُهَا الْأَتْقَى وَسَيُجَنَّبُهَا الْأَتْقَى For those of you in the advanced students, there's a little pop there. It's called humps. At, not at, 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 وَسَيُجَنَّبُهَا الْأَتْقَى Let's try verse number 18, bi-ithnillah. Al-ladhi. There's a fatha, there's a zabar here. And you can go ahead and make that sound together. Al-ladhi. Al-ladhi. Just like we practiced in verse 15. Al-ladhi yu'ti. Sharp sound, you remember it. On the rules of rhythm, it was the 7th or 8th, depending on which course, which version you took. Sharp sound, alif. yu Yu, yu, ti, ma, la, hu, ma, la, hu, ma, la, hu, ma, la, hu, 
يت يتزكى يتزكى الذي يؤتي ما له يتزكى يت top and bottom teeth together يتزكى زكى try that one more time يتزكى Excellent. Za is pronounced top and bottom teeth together. Keep it clear. Not a thal, but yata zakka. Verse number 19. Wama wet ma. Wama wama li ahadin. Wama li ahadin. Dal. Oh, look. Double accent. What letter is it followed by? Ain. It's in the throat. Tongue touch. Excellent. So, tongue touch sound. وَمَا لِي أَحَدٍ أَحَدٍ Literally, your tongue is going to touch. A lot of people look for a complicated rule. It's not. وَمَا لِي أَحَا Second part of the throat. أَحَدٍ أَحَدٍ نُون سُكُون followed by Oh, عند نُون سُكُون followed by the letter دال. Where is دال pronounced? Second part of the tongue? Nope. Tip of the tongue behind the top two teeth. دال that's not in the throat. That's not your maloon. Tongue not touch. You got it. You're getting the flow. It's going to take some time. If this is your first or second follow up, I want you to take it slow, inshallah. Inda is going to be pronounced. Get the ain second part of the throat. The tongue is not going to commit. Inda. Let's try that again. Indahu Mim Sukun followed by Nun Shadda. Who's stronger? You know it. Min Matin Min Matin. Yes, you said it. Double accent. What is it followed by? I want you to tell me this one. Is it a letter of the throat? No, it's not. Is it a letter from Yarmaloon? No, it's not. Is it a letter that's pronounced tip of the tongue behind the two top teeth? Yes, it is. So, tongue not touch. Exactly. Tongue not touch. And those tend not to come out the best. So, let's try that. Why is the sound? Rule number one. Bouncing sounds. Five letters. Off. Ta, ba, jim, and dal. Tuje, 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 or tuje, za, tuje, za, tuje, za. I'm going to take it three words back. Min, can you see it? Min, yeah, man, tuje, za. Wama li ahadin, ahadin. Can you hear the sound? And the last verse that we have here, the last verse that we're going to recite for today, has a mud, has some stretches, the last two verses. Bounce the ba. Ba is one of the letters that bounce. Qaf, ta, ba, jim, and dal. Illab, 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 ti. Line on the bottom. Illab, ti, ghain. Heavy letter. Gha, gha. Stretch for a minimum of four. East to west, followed by what letter? Yes, Hamza by itself. For brother, there was, before there was, Alif with the Hamza on top of it. We tried to make a system that was easy. It's a east to west followed by Hamza. But for four, a minimum. And remember the fingers are relative. We discussed this in class. We don't actually sit there and count them and in advance Tajweed. It becomes a sound where you can recognize, yes. But for now, it's a crutch, training wheels if you will. This is your jim. It has a sukun. It's going to bounce. Rule number one of rhythm. 
وجهي وجهي ربيهي ربيهي الراهبي باشدة ربيهي الهي الأعلى ألف عين أعلى إلا ابتغاء وجه ربه الأعلى. There are a lot of exaggerated facial movements solely for the fact that I'm not there with you to tell you. You can open your mouth, you could do this. So there are going to be slightly exaggerated facial movements so you have clarity. Wajh, I want to hear the E. Listen to it incorrectly. Wow, lam, sofa. Madalayin, Madalin, the around the world. Wala sofa, sofa, wala sofa. Ya is light, ra is heavy because of the line on top. Yar, 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 da, yar, da, yar. And I'm moving my lips. It's not necessary to move your lips, but you can't really see yar, da, because that's my tongue making the sound. So I'm Moving my lips slightly, you don't really need to move them for raw. Yarda wala sawfa yarda. Excellent. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless your recitation. 42 minutes, brothers and sisters. I know that this was a lengthy lesson, but if you can read this surah correctly, practice this a few times and bi'idhnillah, it will be of great benefit to you. And inshallah, we'll speak again soon. Please look over your notes. Follow along these verses a few times. Jazakallah khairan. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah.